Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and today I have a book outlet haul. <laughs> I wasn't planning to film this because I'm trying to take a little bit of a creative break and try to figure out what to do with my booktube channel, with my blog, with everything related to books and content just because I feel in a little bit of a slump but I was surprised to see that this came in today because it wasn't supposed to be delivered for two more days and I figured I'm home. Um, no one else is here. <laughs> I'll film a really quick book haul. I've got eight books to share today and I'm really super excited about each of them. Um, some of them I don't know that much about but I'm really excited so let's get into these books. And the first book that I have is one that Chelsea Dolling reads recently read for contemporary a -thon, I believe, um, but she absolutely absolutely loved it. It's one of her favorite authors. That is Everything All at Once by Christina Katrina Leno. So the main character in this, Lottie, her aunt has recently passed away and she is basically JK Rowling. She wrote this like very popular series and it has a lot to do with grief and I think it's really sad. Like I said, Chelsea loved it and I feel like that's a really good recommendation. So I saw this on Book Outlet and knew I had to get it. Uh, next up is kind of the book that inspired this Book Outlet haul. I recently read another book by this author and really, really enjoyed it, and that is Roses and Rot by Kat Howard. This I don't really know anything about at all, at all but I loved and I'm Kind of Some Magicians by Kat Howard, and so I saw this on Book Outlet and knew I wanted to get it. Again, I don't know anything about it. I think it has something to do with fairy tales and it's another fantastical story, but um, I don't really need to know that much. I am super excited to read this. I think um, An Unkind of Some Magicians is an absolutely remarkable story. It was so good and I'm really excited to see what this one is all about. This next one I got because I think it's going to be the perfect read for Christmas time and winter. The Afterlife of Holly Chase by Cynthia Hand. This is sort of a retelling of Christmas Carol and it follows um, character Holly Chase as she is visited by the ghost of Christmas past, present, future, whatever it is. Oh, interesting. Okay, so she is met by these three ghosts and decides not to like heed their warnings and doesn't change anything about her life and now she is working as um, a ghost of Christmas past. So she has to visit all of these like Scrooges every year. Wow, okay, that sounds really interesting. Um, I'm super excited to read this around Christmas. I think it's gonna be perfect for that time of year. The next one I got because I am dying for more good thrillers after reading Behind Her Eyes by Sarah Pinbro. So I picked up two, the first being The Wife Between Us by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen. This has gotten a lot of hype. Um, it came out around the same time as The Woman in the Window, which I read. It was really good. Um, really, really enjoyed that one. This one is about a woman who is obsessing over the younger woman that her ex-husband is about to marry, I think. Um, there's like a weird love triangle. Um, it basically says like, make no assumptions. You might think that you know what's gonna happen, but you don't. I just love good domestic thrillers and this sounds like it's going to be exactly like what I'm looking for. I feel like I couldn't be more vague about these books, but here we are. And then the other thriller that I got is Behind Closed Doors by B.A. Paris. Again, a thriller that I know not very much about, but it's a domestic thriller about a couple named Jack and Grace. And it seems like Jack is very controlling and says, you know, Jack and Grace are inseparable. They seem to be the perfect couple, but clearly there are weird things going on behind closed doors. Again, a great sounding domestic thriller, and I'm just really in the mood for that. I haven't read enough mysteries and thrillers in my time, so this is one that I'm really excited about. I have heard really, really good things about B.A. Paris in general. Um, I'm pretty sure my sister read this and liked it. I think she's read both of these, actually. I mean, this sounds really similar to Behind Her Eyes, even similar titles and everything, so interesting. I don't know um, how similar they are, but they sound like they might be of the same breed of mystery thriller. And then next, I got the full original trilogy of Shatter Me by Tehera Mafi. And I'm <laughs> weirdly excited about this. I have heard kind of mixed things about the Shatter Me series. Mostly I've heard people love it, but then Spencer from Common Spence thinks that Shatter Me is garbage and really hates it, and I take his opinion like very seriously. I feel like we often feel the same way about books, so I'm a little curious to see how it's gonna go. I have been really in the mood to just binge a series lately. I haven't found one that um, I really 
have wanted to do that with, but something about this one um, seems like it might be, I mean, partially because it has a full completed trilogy. There are new books coming out. Um, I forget what the, the most recent one is called, but um, I don't know. Something about this seems like something that I could definitely get into um, and want to binge. So it's about um, a young girl named Juliet whose touch is fatal um, and they plan the like government plans to use her as a weapon. I think it's written like sort of stream of consciousness. Um, yeah, some things are crossed out and it's sounds interesting. I'm really intrigued. I'm looking for a good YA fantasy sci-fi type series. I'm into it. I'm excited. Um, hopefully we'll read Shatter Me soon. I'm thinking I might start it over like winter Christmas break time when I'm home and have some time off. So um, that's that. All right, everyone, that's everything for this video. This is my most recent book outlet haul that I am so excited about. I'm also like extra excited that it came two days earlier than I was anticipating. I just had kind of a day and so it was great to come home to these beauties. Thank you so much for watching. If you have read any of these books, have thoughts, um, feelings, comments, please leave them down below. Or you can find all the links to my social media accounts in the description box if you'd like to connect with me there. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on my next video. But until then, happy reading. Bye.